Let us say hello to Faust by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Goethe was a poet, playwright, a novelist, a scientist, a statesman, a theater director, a critic, and an amateur artist. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe is considered as the greatest German literary figure of the modern times. Since the end of the 18th century, his writings have been described as classical. Goethe is the only German literary figure whose range and international standing equal those of Germany's supreme philosophers and composers. He is considered as the German Dante and German Shakespeare. Goethe was a very fascinating man. He was called a chameleon. He never repeated himself. None of his works is like any of the others. Nonetheless, his contribution to literature is mainly on how he made the world see how it finds meaning in life through his reflections on people's ever-changing ways. Why should we bother reading Faust? Faust has been the subject of dozens of films, musicals, fairy tales, video games, graphic novels, comics, and manga. The play resonates especially at times of moral crisis. Its theme thrives in a culture of instant gratification. It echoes how the majority chooses immediate pleasure despite knowing the long-term pain it brings. The play reverberates that elusive dream to keep on expanding. It reiterates how we paid for the convenience of globalization with environmental, economic, social, and moral decay. Faust extends a warning that we should be well of the ego, the seduction of fame, and the celebration of power. They are hollow and short-lived. What is the play Faust about? Part 1 focuses on love. The play opens showing Faust sitting restlessly. He had gotten tired of studying almost all possible subject areas. He had gotten tired of discussing books. He was about to end his life when he heard heavenly music and found inspiration to continue living. A little later, Faust and his assistant Wagner were taking a walk. As they appreciated the beauty and harmony of the natural world, they noticed a black poodle circling them like a swirling fire. It followed Faust back to his study, the setting of the opening scene. Then it revealed itself, the devil Mephistopheles, the pessimistic and restless Faust made a pact with him in exchange for a lifetime service to make him absolutely satisfied with life, Faust is to give the devil his soul. Using Mephistopheles' cloak, they row through the air to Leipzig. After providing free wine which turned into a terrifying fire, Faust fell in love at first sight with Gretchen. Of course, the devil made sure that they would fall for each other. To consume their love even before marriage, Faust instructed Gretchen to give her mother a sleeping potion which led to her eventual death. Faust left, leaving a pregnant Gretchen behind who got ostracized. Right on cue, Faust and Mephistopheles got back when Gretchen's brother wanted to avenge the dishonor and misfortune Faust caused his sister. With the devil's help during the duel, Faust killed Gretchen's brother. Several months later after the crime, the devil informed Faust that Gretchen was imprisoned after killing her newborn child. Faust tried saving her from execution but she refused. Faust left again and this is where part 1 ends. Part 2 focuses on power. Several years later, Faust and the devil worked together to convince an emperor to dig up treasures to solve economic issues. Having gained a false sense of prosperity, the emperor gave Faust and the devil access to the imperial treasury. The scene went back to Faust's study after how an entertainment where the emperor asked magicians to summon Helen of Troy turned into a complete failure. Wagner has become the most brilliant scholar. The devil's return catalyzed the birth of the unnatural creature Wagner was concocting. It was named Eumonculus. It suggested that Faust and the devil bring him to Greece to raise his spirits. Faust focused on rescuing Helen of Troy Mephistopheles looked for erotic adventures, Homunculus being a flame-like man rode to open waters and got reconciled to the natural world. With the devil's help, Faust was able to claim Helen. They soon had a child they named Euphorion who went scaling the sky and falling and dying like Icarus. After the child's death, Helen went back to the underworld and Faust thought of another grand project. He wanted to create new lands by driving the sea back on itself. 
For being bound to serve him for a lifetime, the devil directed him to assist the emperor who had gotten abusive. The evil doer assisted the emperor to preserve his rule and received the reward they asked for, a kingdom by the sea. Several years later, now at age 100, Faust was nearing his death. He was about to achieve his goal when an old married couple refused to give him their tiny property. For one more time, the devil helped Faust get rid of them. When assailed with guilt, Faust had himself blinded and continued working on his project, even building a canal to drain a contaminating mire. When the devil Mephistopheles was about to take his soul, the heavens intervened, destructing the devil with lustful thoughts. We end this video lesson with a famous Faust line. Oh my, but all is long in our life is fleeting. This old child died to my channel. See you in our next lesson. Take care, stay safe.